Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In our last video, we showed you how to hook a Mac Mini up to your home entertainment center. Uh, now we're going to learn how to play those videos. Okay, Chris, how are we going to actually play these videos? We're going to use a program called Plex, which is a media center application designed specifically for OS X. Okay, let's All right, fire let's it up. Into it. Okay. In the last video, we set up our storage drive so that it's available on the network. How do we access the drive from the Mini? This is pretty simple to do. Just open a finder window and look in the sidebar. You should see your airport base station there, and when you click on it, the shared drives attached to it will show up. Once you click on the shared drive, in this case the OWC QX2, it will mount on the desktop and be ready for access, just as if you had connected it with FireWire or USB. I suggest storing your media in different folders named by the type of media, such as movies, TV shows, music, and photos. Now do we have to do this every time we restart, or can we automate that? In order to set the QX2 to auto mount every time we start up and log into the Mac Mini, all you need to do is open System Preferences, click on Accounts, click on the Login Items tab, and then click on the plus button. Navigate to the QX2 the same way we did in the Finder window, and then click on Add to finish adding the QX2 as a login item. Now it will mount as soon as you log in at startup. Now that we have our movie files available, let's set up the movie software. Where do we start? We're going to use a program called Plex to play back our media. You'll need to download it from their website, which is www.plexapp.com. You should see a download link on the right hand side of the front page. Once the file is finished downloading, the disk image should mount on your desktop. If your machine is not set to do this automatically, double click the downloaded file to mount the disk image. All you need to do is simply drag the Plex icon to your Applications folder to install. For easier access, you may want to drag the icon from your Applications folder to the dock. Launch the program and Plex will open. To make sure it plays back in full screen, you may need to right click on the application icon in the dock and select Toggle Full Screen. Okay, Plex is installed and running. Now, how do we use it? We need to set it up so that it not only plays our movies, but it also can be controlled via remote control rather than a keyboard. There is built-in support for the Apple remote while Plex is running, but it is not set to automatically launch when you click the menu button on the Apple remote. To activate this feature, use the remote to navigate to Preferences, then to System, and then finally to Input Devices. Click left on the Apple Remote to access the options, then click on Always Running, which will allow the Apple Remote to launch Plex from the desktop. The next step is to add media sources. In this example, we will add our movies library, but all of the media is added this way. First, we'll need to go back to the main screen and navigate to Videos. Then navigate to Add Source. Within the Add Source window, click right to get over to the Browse option. We have our Movies folder on the QX2, so I'm going to navigate to the QX2. Once I've selected my location, I will select OK and I will be taken back to the Add Video Source window. The next step is important because it will allow Plex to look up movie information automatically, so we don't have to add movie posters and descriptions manually. Navigate over to Set Content. Click on the small up and down arrows to cycle through the different media types. This is our Movies folder, so I'm going to stop at Movies. IMDB is the default content source for the information lookup of movies, so we're going to select that, then navigate down to the Select button. We can now select OK on the Add Video Source window, and Plex will begin adding all of our movies to the library, and will automatically look up all the movie posters and descriptions at the same time. Now that Plex has added all of our movies, I'd like to show you one other cool feature Plex has available. Plex has a built-in app store where you can download add-ons and plugins. 
These plugins allow you to access information or videos from various sources, such as Apple's movie trailer page, Hulu, Netflix, and others. Okay, we've got Plex to find our movies, we've updated all the movie info, and we've even set it to work with our remote. Now can we watch a movie? Sure! From the home screen, if we select Movies, and you can see how beautifully Plex presents the movies with descriptions, background pictures, movie posters, and even reviewer ratings. To play a movie, you just need to click on it and playback will begin. At any time during playback, you can hold down the select button on your remote to bring up the movie information as well as playback controls. Thank <laughs> you.